Hello and welcome to our tutorial on integrating open source BERT with the Hortonworks Sandbox. I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate open source BERT with the Hortonworks Sandbox by creating a data source connecting to the Sandbox and a couple of data sets that retrieve data from the Sandbox's Hive 2 server. The data I will be retrieving is a snapshot in time of occupational information that includes an occupational code, description, total number of employees in that field, and the average salary for each of these occupations. In my fictitious scenario for this tutorial, my goal is to identify occupations that have the best potential for the highest salary. And since we're curious, we'll be creating a report to visualize which occupations have the highest salaries, but more importantly, we also want to identify opportunities where we have the fewest number of employees in a particular occupation that also pays the highest average salary. With that introduction, let's start step one of this tutorial by creating a new BERT project. And within this project, we'll create a new BERT report. Now that we have the report we're going to work on, we're going to create a Hive2 data source to connect to the Hive2 server located on the Hortonworks sandbox. Make sure that the IP address matches the IP address shown in the sandbox's terminal window. And the default username is sandbox. We'll test the connection to make sure it is successful. With this new data source, we're going to create two data sets, one for detail and one for summary. As you'll see, we are going to use the same query for both the detail data set and the summary data set. We will differentiate between this detail and the summary by using filters within the data set itself. We're first going to edit the data set for the detail and apply the filter that will remove one of the aggregate rows that exist in the data set. And the aggregate row is a grand total for all occupations and it's denoted by a code of 00-40. In the summary data set we're going to filter out the same row Then, in addition, since we only want the summary records, we're going to match a code with a substring for the last four characters, and the substring matches 0000. zero, zero, zero. Those are existing aggregate rows in the data. When we preview our results, you can see that we're only retrieving the rows with four zeros in the code. 